Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Welcome to Keep Flying. I am a traveler. Not just an ordinary traveler, but a frequent traveler. Traveling to me is not just about moving from one place to the other. I travel for work and personal business. And with all this traveling I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me around. A self-checking kiosk always comes in handy, and that way I don't have to queue up and stare at my watch. I'm always on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminals, so Wi-Fi always saves the day. Oh, and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. <laughs> Last call for all passengers to board the flight to Livingston. Oops, got to go before I miss my flight. Travel with a peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airports Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider. With a new shopping mall and hotel coming soon. Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Keep flying. Welcome to the special interview with uh, Zambia Airports Corporation and uh, of course this is an exclusive interview that I'm doing with the members of staff at Zambia Airports Corporation Limited and uh, right about now I'm getting to just have a talk with uh, Mr. Joseph Msonda who's a manager commercial. Welcome to the program sir. Thank you very much and uh, welcome listeners. Thank you. Thank you. So what is the objective of the commercial section of Air Navigation Services? The commercial section of Air Navigation Services is actually uh, the, the department responsible for revenue generation, sales and marketing for the department. So basically what the department does is that it generates the money from the aircraft operations. What it means is that all the aircraft that operates within the Zambian airspace or those which overfly the Zambian airspace is a source of income for us. Because what happens is that by virtue of providing a service, we recover the cost of providing that service. That's the responsibility of uh, commercial under air navigation services. All right. And how does uh, commercial generate revenue under air navigation services? Thank you for that question. When there's a flight that is taking place, whether within the country or overflying the Zambian airspace, this is basically where we generate that income. By virtue of providing the service to the, to the aircraft, we have to recover the cost of doing that. And that's how we generate the income. What we do is that we've got a system of charging. Once we do the charges, we send them to the client, and the client pays us. That's how we generate the income person. We have uh, three main sources of uh, income, which is the overflight. And the overflight means that those are aircraft that are overflying the Zambian airspace without uh, really landing in any of our airports in Zambia. So what that means is that um, these aircraft just overfly. They, they overfly the Zambian airspace either from South Africa or from Botswana via to another country, but over, over the Zambian airspace. That's the first source of income. The second source of income is the, the international aircraft that are coming to land into our country and also getting out of here into other, other countries. That's the second one. The third <laughs> source of income is the domestic. This means those are aircraft that are flying within the Zambian airspace. Most, mostly these are local airlines. Most of these are local airlines. Those are flying from, uh, we've got a number of them like ProFlight, uh, Avos ProFlight, and uh, Maogani. These just fly within the Zaman airspace. Really, they don't go out. They, while they, they can also go outside, but the, mostly they operate within the Zaman airspace. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, with that said, then do you charge the domestic and uh, the international airlines the same? No, we don't. Uh, what we do is that uh, we've got a system of charges where we charge for the aircraft that are flying out of the country and those which are locally domestic. Of course, the, the, local, dom, uh, the local airlines, those who fly within the domestic arrangement, are charged at a, a lesser cost than those which are at the international level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us about the overflights and uh, what the percentage of overflights within the Zambian airspace are. The, the overflights uh, constitute uh, the, the larger component of the air navigation revenue, and that one is almost over 70, 72% of the total income for air navigation. Then he followed by international, which is about 24% uh, or 25, depending on the month we are looking at. And then there's also the, there's about 3%, which is now for domestic. This 
is keep flying. You're listening to a special interview with the Zambia Airports Corporation. And uh, with me, I am um, joined by Manager Commercial, Mr. Musonda Joseph. And uh, we are looking at the commercial section of the air navigation. So uh, how do you ensure that all aircraft's movements are captured? What happens is that... Um We've got a, a system, because this information really comes from air traffic control. The air traffic control records all the movements that are taking place in the, in the country, and they've got a system because they communicate with these operators. Once they communicate with them, they lock them in. Once they lock them in, then they, they provide that information to us. Once that information is provided to us, that's the time now we also input in our system, our billing system, then we, send those, we, we generate the, the bills which we send to our clients for payment. Another interesting thing that we would love to find out from you is uh, how the billing and collection of generated revenue is done, considering that some aircraft operators do not land in Zambia but um, overfly the Zambian airspace. Yeah, that one actually is very complicated, but I think we've, co we've come up with a system where, which we're using now. We have an arrangement with the IATA. Uh, IATA is an international air transport association, which is the motherboard of most of the airlines. This is what happens that when we generate the invoices, we send them to IATA, they've got a clearing house. In the clearing house, they, they make a payment through the clearing house and pay us. That's, that is for those airlines which are members of IATA. Those which are not members of IATA, what we do is that we send bills direct to them. We send them using two methods. One, we, we email to them, then we send the hard copies to them as well. Then once that is done, we continue con communicating with them. Of course, uh, we, it, it take, it's difficult to collect the money, but we manage to get that money. Mm. Yeah. How do you attract uh, new business, and uh, who are your competitors? Uh, thank you very much for that question again. Uh, that, the, uh, the method that we use to, 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 to attract new business is that we've got the roots development, uh, meetings, that forum, or whatever, it's, you can call it a meeting or forum, where we go and interact with the airlines. This is why we now tell them what are the advantages of coming to Zambia and what benefits they are going to get. During those forums, we interact and then also tell us what it, we tell them exactly what they need to do in order for them to, to come to Zambia. The methods, what criteria is needed, what they need to do with the government, all those procedures we tell them. And then, uh, of course, our competitors are our neighbors. We don't have competitors in Zambia because we are so-called a monopoly in quotations. I can call it quotations because, you know. But otherwise, we are, our competitors are our, basically our neighbors. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Simpson, tell us about the annual traffic levels in Zambia. Our annual traffic levels at the moment is over 73,000 movements per year. So basically, that's where we are. We are just moving between, for the past three years, I think or so, we've been moving between 72 and 70, 74 just around the 74,000 or 72,000, somewhere there. Mm -hmm. That's where we are. All right. And what is the competitive advantage of air navigation services as a business in Zambia? One, um, we, are, we are centrally located, such that it's easier and, it, and shorter to fly through the Zambian airspace. That's the first one. The second one is uh, our airspace is uh, uncongested, like, unlike any other airspaces that we have, like South Africa, Nairobi, uh, at, at Zababa, those are congested, but ours is completely very, very free, very uncongested. Um, one other advantage that we have is that it's very easy to fly here. We have, we have got very minimal, if any, we don't have any so far, but we don't have any threats uh, which can prevent somebody from flying to Zambian airspace. And then um, um, I've mentioned the conducive environment that we have, the economic con conducive environment, and I think we've seen a lot of economic activities in the country. Actually, the economy is performing very well. It's a better place to come to so that you come and benefit from such kind of facilities. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The traffic levels, again, is also increasing. So people should take advantage of coming here, whether the airlines or the, 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 the passengers. They should take advantage of that and come to Zambia. These are some of the advantages that actually... We have. As we come to the end of uh, this interview, uh, what could be your closing remarks? My closing remarks is that um, our charges, I'll start with our charges. Our charges are very minimal. They're not that high when you compare them to the region charges. So people should not fear that. They should take advantage of our low charges and come and do business here. I'm talking about, uh, about the airlines. They should, they should benefit from that facility. Second, our environment in Zambia is very conducive. 
we need to have a lot of people coming to Zambia. Zambia is becoming one of the conducive environments where you can come and do business easily. And I think the economy can attest to that. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for your time, sir, and uh, thank you for uh, having this interview with me. Thank you very much. I was talking to Mr. Joseph Musonda, who is a manager commercial at um, Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. And, of course, I'm still having um, special interviews with members of staff at Zambia Airports Corporation. My name is Kafala, and for now, I'm saying stay tuned. I am a traveler. Not just an ordinary traveler, but a frequent traveler. Traveling to me is not just about moving from one place to the other. I travel for work and personal business. And with all this traveling I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me around. A self-check-in kiosk always comes in handy, and that way I don't have to queue up and stare at my watch. I'm always on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminals, so Wi-Fi always saves the day. Oh, and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. <laughs> Last call for all passengers to board the flight to Livingston. Oops, gotta go before I miss my flight. Travel with a peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airports Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider. With a new shopping mall and hotel coming soon, Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Keep flying.